Our Keely Arthur joins us live from where that crash happened with the latest on the girls tonight. Keely. Michelle, as you can see, everything is back to normal at this intersection. But as for the girls who were hit here and the entire Middleton community, it's going to be a long road to heal. Odds of something like this happening to somebody crossing the street at that location are infinitesimal. And yet it happened as two girls, one 13, the other 12, were walking home from Cromery Middle School. They had the walk light. This guy ran a red light. The suspect, Ross Cotter Brown, a former Middleton resident, has three previous OWIs. His blood was tested Thursday for drugs and alcohol. Those blood tests will take a while to get back, so um, he won't be booked under those charges now. But there's plenty of other uh, felony charges to hold him. Uh, and, and that's the point now. We, we need him to be in jail. We need to keep him in jail. The girls were taken to UW Hospital with serious injuries. One in particular, they were very, very concerned about survivability. But, um, man, they, they got him to the emergency room and they did their thing. Both are now in stable condition, fighting hard to heal their broken bones. As for the residents of Middleton, they are trying to heal too. It affected the community, it affected the school, it affected the kids who, who saw this, and even the first responders that had to, to go to that scene. And are now coping with that shock. It's such a freaky thing. By showing their support for the two victims. People have been contacting us, wanting to get these um, families' names so they can deliver food to them and things like that. I know an officer now is... Uh, at a florist shop to, to buy some flowers for the families. Hoping each little gesture of love will strengthen the community and those girls. Man, anytime you introduce kids into something like that, it really hits home. And police want to know exactly what Cotter Brown was doing before this all happened. If you have any information, please contact the Middleton Police. Eric and Michelle? Certainly still a lot of questions tonight. All right, Keely Arthur reporting live for us. Thanks, Keely.